Okay, so to help you get started with today's homework, what I want to do is actually show you um, sort of the approach that we're going to use to count the number of nodes in a tree. So hopefully, you know, uh, you've seen a little bit of how to work with trees so far. So we're sending off into the wide world. This is a pretty uh, straightforward problem, and I think you'll be really satisfied when you get it because it's so nice. Um, but let's look at, you know, how to do it in a couple of different ways. So let's say I have a, a tree, and what I want to do is figure out how many nodes are in that tree. Now, um, this slide is a little bit misleading because, like, you can count iteratively, but it's a huge pain. Um, maybe later, once we've seen how elegant our recursive algorithms are on trees, uh, maybe for fun, we'll show you how to kind of like basically flatten a tree so that you can use iteration to work through it. Um, I'm not going to bother with that because it turns out that it doesn't work very well. So there is a way to incrementally count a tree. Sorry, iteratively count a tree. However, what we're going to do is we're going to count recursively. Okay. And and I'm going to start to say some things that are going to start to sound like a pattern for the next few problems. So I want to count this whole tree. I'm starting at five. So I have a reference to the root node, the node that contains the value five. How do I break this into smaller sub problems? Let's say I'm at a particular node. Remember, in order to apply a recursive algorithm, I need to find smaller sub problems that look like the problem I'm solving so that I can make the problem smaller in every step and eventually get to a point where I have a problem that's so small, it's very easy to solve. So what are the two smaller subproblems here? Um, if I'm starting at the root node, I'm at node five, the two smaller subproblems are the, root, the, the tree that's rooted at node three and the tree that's rooted at node 10. And so essentially to count a tree, I say, okay, well, the count of the nodes in the tree is one, I'm counting the node that I'm at, plus the number of nodes in my right subtree, plus the number of nodes in my left subtree. By the way, I have no idea if this is your right or your left, and this is your left or your right, and I'm just not going to worry about it that much. I used to get so stressed out about that when I used to lecture because I'd be like, oh, okay, I'm right, that I should, whatever. Um, I don't know. If it's bothering you, just rotate me around 180 degrees and it'll be right. Um, so I'm going to count the whole tree by counting the right part, and I don't know how to do that, counting the left part, and I don't know how to do that, and adding myself. Okay. So now I've created two smaller subproblems. Well, how do I count the left subtree? Same approach. I count the number of nodes in its left subtree, and I add the number of nodes in its right subtree, which doesn't have one, and I add one. So now I'm counting this left subtree, and here's where it starts to get nice, okay? I've arrived at a leaf node. This node has no children. How many nodes are in a tree with just one uh, node? Well. That's a pretty easy problem to solve. So I'm going to do the same thing over here on the right. So I've broken the problem into two problems. So, so I was kind of working on the left subtree that was rooted in node 3. Now I'm going to move over to the right subtree that's rooted at node 10. That tree has a left tree and a right tree. The left tree is a node rooted at node 9. The right subtree is rooted at node 1. So now I'm going to you know, start over again on 9 and 1. Once I get to the leaf nodes, counting the tree is very easy. Because once I arrive at a leaf node... That tree has one node in it. Pretty nice. And so now what I start to do is, so now I've broken the problem down into smaller and smaller pieces. I found a problem that was so simple that I couldn't help but solve it. And now what I'm doing is I'm going to combine the results. So three was like, okay, well, I was waiting to figure out what the count of the nodes in my left subtree and my right subtree are. My left subtree just said there's only one node down there, so that's great. My right subtree I already tried and there's nothing down there. Um, so node 10, so it's the same thing. It says, okay, well, I was going to count the number of nodes in my left tree and my right tree. My left tree says that there's one node down there. My right tree says there's one node down there. I'm going to add myself and I'm going to report that back to uh, node 5. And so now we're kind of, so on trees too, recursion frequently has this sort of up and down quality where we work down to make the problem smaller and then we combine results upwards. Um, so, you know, node five, who started off this whole thing, said, I'm going to count the number of nodes in my left subtree rooted at node three and add it to the number of nodes in my right subtree rooted at node 10. So now I've managed to count my left subtree, it has two nodes, and my right subtree, it's got three nodes. I combine this together, add myself, and I'm done. So when you get this, you're going to like it uh, because it's so nice and compact and, and, and really quite elegant. So uh, good luck on the homework problem. Hopefully this helps you a little bit um, review this diagram as needed.